and it's time for another G.I. Joe toy review. I hope that you all are doing well, staying safe. Uh, crazy times out there today, huh? So, um, this is the first pandemic I've ever had to deal with. I'm sure most of us, unless you were alive during the 1917 influenza pandemic, then it's your second one. So let's not focus on the negative. Let's take a trip back to 1984. We're going to be looking at another small uh, playset. This is the 1984 G.I. Joe Missile Defense Unit. I did not have this one as a kid. I didn't know anybody who did have it as a kid. And uh, it... I do recall seeing it on the shelves, though, at uh, my favorite store, Smitty's. Uh, I spoke about that last week when I covered the Blowtorch review. And I got a lot of good feedback on him, so thank you guys very much. Apparently, he's a lot more popular than I thought he was. Really cool figure. Uh, uh, this one, I, I do recall... Seeing it on the shelves, I had the, the figures all lined up on the shelves, the vehicles up on the, the top shelf and down on the bottom. And then they had uh, an end cap with more action figures on it. And that's also where they hung um, or displayed uh, smaller play sets. So this was up there. Its original retail price was $2.29. So when it hit the shelves in 84, it's uh, stayed up there until 86 when it was discontinued. But it was again available in 1988 through Hasbro Direct, through their mail away. Uh, but it came in a light gray color. If Some of you may not know that when something is released through Hasbro Direct, they change the coloring just a little bit so you know the original from the mail away so the the bricks the whole thing is in a lighter gray color um, this one happens to be the mail away to the best of my knowledge um, just from looking at pictures on ebay the darker bricks are pretty evident it was worth a half a flag point uh, there is a box art variant, so let me go ahead and pull that up for you. Uh, one had the Sergeant Slaughter uh, promo on it, so let me pull those pictures up for you. And there is also a variant on the wall. Uh, how could I? Yeah, the wall that comes with it. Uh, one is smooth brick, and the other one has battle damage on it. And let me pull those pictures up for you, too. I'm not sure which one is harder to find if one was Hasbro Direct or exclusively, or if it was um, just a, a factory variant as it progressed through the years. So let me pull those pictures up as well. All right, so those pictures are a side-by-side -side comparison as well as individual uh, photos. So you could get an idea of what they are. Mine um, is battle damaged. I'll, so... Without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this pretty cool little playset. Very good for dioramas. And before I forget, I did make a promise to one of the viewers that I would do a diorama um, demonstration. Um, I am waiting for some paint to come in. Um, I had to order some uh, special paint that I use. Um, Walmart was out of it, so I went online and found it a little bit cheaper. So um, when that paint comes in, I will 
do a quick diorama demonstration with you guys. I use foam board. Works great for attaching um, little trees and things on it. But that's not part of this review. I'll talk about that when I do that diorama. So let's take a look at this pretty cool little toy. All right, so here it is all set up and looking pretty good. Uh, I just thought I'd throw a little bonus piece in. I found this online at a very decent price. It is the die-cast um, ram cycle. It is accurate to the piece. I uh, thought it was pretty cool, so I have this displayed with my ram. The side gun does not come off, but um, I would have loved this as a kid. I'm sure I would have been down there with, had it down with my Hot Wheels cars, just having a great time with it. The saddlebags, as you can see, are on there. They're non-detachable. All right, so let's take a look at the first piece. Uh, it came with a sign. It says Ammunition Depot. The sticker's a little warped on it. But on the back, it's 1984. Um, Hasbro Incorporated there on the back made out of a, a harder plastic came with identical figure stands these are harder to find with these play sets because they either get lost or people keep them uh, came with a crate with a removable lid and two additional missiles they are all identical they fit in that crate quite nicely came with the missile launcher uh, this one looks like it had been broken and repaired which I have no problem with I got it at a very nice price some little stickers are on the side with little technology type things has the atypical oops sorry airplane sticker this one looks like it may have been used on a few other play sets at the time and it says caution stay clear one missile fits right down into the tube make sure that the fins line up in between those two nubs there for lack of a better word and the spare missile fits right in there without a problem. And here's my favorite part of the playset. The wall. This is great for dioramas. You can set it up as a straight wall. Not very well balanced. The pieces do come apart. As this one piece, you can see it, the brick sculpt is very very nice on it uh, just slots right in to the other side this wall right here this piece nice big hole right in the middle this is such great effect on this very nice detail on it you could really feel the action behind it but they failed to deliver on the back side and that's okay I would have played the heck out of this wall as a kid. I would have even used this with my little green army men. And here's an added bonus I could not resist. I had this toy when I was two years old. I remember playing with it up until I was about five or six. And then I think my mom gave it away. Uh, I loved this little ambulance. Came is made by Fisher Price. The year that it came out was 1973. Uh, came with two identical firemen, five points of articulation on them. They had the the ball jointed neck there. So I'm thinking, why did Hasbro not use the ball joint when they first got started? Was it a copyright thing? That was going on where they couldn't use these until the copyright ran out on the Fisher Price action people. These guys are very durable, made out of a heavy plastic. 
bell-bottom pants to match the era that they came from. Both of them have the rescue symbol on the back. Since the TV show Emergency was really popular, I loved this vehicle. Here, you, on the top, press down on the siren. Makes a ambulance or a siren sound a whale. Um, <clears throat> it came with the stretcher uh, with some, these little wheels on it. I play, remember playing with this stretcher quite a bit. I had a lot of these Fisher Price action people. I even used this for my Star Wars. You can see it's up to scale for the figure. It came with a second stretcher, which fits into this cargo bay. And we'll look at that a little further. But the second stretcher, a little tighter fit, but still a nice feature. Um, inside here, you can see there's kind of like a little um, emergency room type situation. Uh, EKG machine. This person looks like they're having a little, little bit of a problem there. A little PVC going on right in there. Premature ventricular contraction. And, uh, yeah, that's just, they're not having a healthy day. Let's put it that way. And the back here is a little seat. I can get that on camera. Little seat there in the back. Has grid pattern all on the inside. But you can fit a, a figure in there quite nicely. And his feet do fit down into that hole. Keep him from sliding out. These Fisher Price toys are really well made. They took quite a bit of abuse uh, right here has a steering wheel that does turn uh, this was my favorite feature this ladder that raises up rotates around it has a cherry picker on it and it does extend let me put a figure in there <coughs> Pardon me, I have bronchitis right now. So you put your figure in there. And he could move around. This is such a fun little toy. I'm glad that I picked it up. Okay, and here on the wheels uh, has the Fisher Price logo. It is on a, a bar. Oh, I'm sorry, 1974 it came out. It says 1974 Fisher Price Toys, East Aurora, New York, made in the USA. Uh, here on the back it is Rescue no, Rescue 303. I just love this thing. It was my all-time favorite toy before Star Wars came out and then G.I. Joe. And as time goes on, you know, things fall by the wayside. But uh, when I saw this, I just had to have it. Um, paid 20 bucks for it. This condition, fantastic condition for this. The figures are in great shape as well. And these originally sold for 69 cents each. Try find one for 69 cents now. So I hope you like this little added bonus of the diecast ram in the fisher price um, ambulance let me know if you had any fisher price toys so <laughs> this thing is 45 years old it's made the same year i was born i wish i looked this good and still operated <laughs> as well as this toy does whoever owned it took very good care of it um but I am proud to have it in my collection. It's the only thing Fisher Price I have, and I only bought it because of the strong emotional attachment. Otherwise, you know, I'm out of room for G.I. Joe. I actually had to pack more stuff into boxes to make room for new stuff that um, I had purchased recently. Um, through some generous contributions uh, through my uh, 
PayPal. Some came through my PayPal and um, others through my um, coffee account. It's I, I haven't been posting it. Um, so right now we, we <laughs> it's a tough times, so um, don't need to be uh, requesting money, but people were generous enough to send some of that stuff out and send some funds to me and I was surprised to see it pop up into my email. So those of you who did um, make those donations, uh, thank you very much. It helped pay for some new Joes. Uh, the Fisher price came out of my pocket, but um, yeah, I purchased some new Joes with, and even this uh, Tiger Force flag I purchased. So thank you guys. Uh, it was not necessary. It's never necessary. It does help, but um, I said I, I have a job. I can pay for this stuff on my own. But it, it, like I said, it never mind. Tough times. <laughs> Keep your money, please. Not that I'm not grateful, but please hold on to your money. Uh, we don't know how long this virus is going to be taking us out. Uh, making people sick so um, hold on to every penny you can so with all of that being said um, let's go ahead and get into my favorite segment byron's gripes toast to byron's gripes with pepsi zero <laughs> My first one of the day, Vinny. He's kind of helped me cut back on sodas, and I've lost about eight pounds already. So three a day now. So thank you very much, Vinny, for helping me with that. Uh, all right, so if you're looking for this on the aftermarket, there are a ton of them out there giving that they were on the shelves for two years in Hasbro Direct. Who knows how many years they kept them available. Uh, there's some real gems, so I'm going to share those with you as well. Uh, <clears throat> want one complete? We're looking at $16 to $22.99. Deal the day. Uh, I would pay that for this. Um, those are, it's, it's a pretty decent price given that it has those small parts that are easily lost. Uh, want one incomplete? With the blueprint, okay, this guy is um, Jacob Marley, uh, 1985 for that, has a blueprint. And the blueprint does look nice, but you can buy those separately for, you know, buck ninety nine. So, um, you know, he's, he's thinking he's sitting on a gold mine. And for those of you just joining me, <clears throat> excuse me, I do this segment... To let you know what the market prices are, I only use eBay. I'm not doing it to pick on eBay, nor the sellers, just for the mere convenience of it. Okay, incomplete with no stands, $14.99 to $24.99. That's kind of high. Uh, $14.99, I'll put that with the deal of the day because you could buy the stands dirt cheap for that. Uh, speaking of which, the figure stand a dollar seventy-five to a dollar ninety-nine. The damaged wall piece, one dollar, and that's the dark gray one. But uh, he, Mister Galgi, uh, I love the Galgi people. Five eighty-five for shipping. Three eighty-five is what this would cost for shipping. Is the price of um, postage has gone up in the United States um, the first of the year. So, you know, he's getting an extra two bucks out of the seller or out of the buyer. Uh, the wall goes up to two sixty five on that. So one dollar to two two dollars sixty five. Um, the complete mail away version. The light gray one, $12.99, not bad, deal of the day. Mint in box, there are three of them out there. Uh, 50, 
uh, one is 61.39 and the other one goes to 67.99. I would put those with deal of the day because, you know, finding things, especially the smalls mint in box are, it's kind of hard. Uh, really surprised that things still, that stayed mint in box. Uh, how they stayed that way is beyond me. You know, you buy for a kid, first thing they're going to do is rip it open. My theory is parents bought this stuff, you know, early in the year for Christmas, stashed it somewhere and forgot all about it and found it 20 years later. It's like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this was your Christmas present. Hold on to it. Uh, kind of scenario. Or older people having a little bit of foresight, knowing that Star Wars was still holding its value, said, so I'm going to keep these in the package. Things like that, just a theory. So the blueprints go anywhere from $1.99 to $11.95. No, $11.95. And this looked like King Kong blew his nose on it. The $11.95 wanted a big old brown water stain on it. No, guys, come on. Especially something damaged like that. You're not sitting on a treasure. Just because it says G.I. Joe, it does not make it valuable. Okay, there are some valuable things out there that are G.I. Joe related, but most of it, no, it's mass produced. There are hundreds of tens of thousands of these worldwide. And obviously a lot of it survived. So the missiles, $1.95 for all three of them, deal of the day. The sign, $1.75 to $3, deal of the day with that. Three is a little bit on the high end, but I would still pay it if I needed it. I mean, three bucks, it's not bad. Mint in box, that's AFA graded, or no, I'm sorry, AFA ready. Um, means the box is in immaculate condition. It's ready to be graded, and I think you pay around 100 bucks to have it graded. Seller is letting that go for $299.99, nearly $300 with an or better offer clause to it. The ammo crate, $299, the launcher, $399, and it went on and on and on. So I just condensed it all. So, hey, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I do really appreciate it, especially my new subscribers. Welcome. I subscribe back to you. Uh, really appreciate it. Let's me know that my content is worthy enough of your subscriptions, and that's very humbling to me. Uh, I really appreciate it. I love talking to you guys in the comments section. Uh, that's a lot of fun. That's more like the highlight of my day. Uh, if you want to shoot me an email, it's down in the description, as well as the name of uh, the names of all my uh, channel supporters. Uh, so it's from the people who've made donations or have collaborated with me, things of that nature. Um, so they they're channel supporters. Um, so thank you guys very much for tuning in. Um, stay tuned next week for another G.I. Joe toy review. And as always, be kind to one another, especially in this day and age uh, right now with all this craziness. There, People need, need to be kind. Um, and stop being greedy. Okay, the stores are limiting everything to two a day. Um, so... I understand the the need to, or the the desire to stock up on things because of uncertainty. We we have tap water, folks. Okay, there's no no need to fill your carts up with bottled water. Use tap water if you think it's bad. Boil it. Okay, so we have ways. You know this is a prosperous time, so be kind. All right, and be generous. And also, especially be kind to animals. They know nothing but unconditional love. So always give your pet a nice hug, unless it's a snake. You know, it's up to you. <laughs> so see you next week. Stay safe, everyone. Remember, wash your hands regularly. Don't touch your eyes, nose, mouth.
especially when in public, at home. I can't say yay or nay on that, but especially in public, do that. Uh, after, when you get home, wash. One, very important. Because this is a high contamin highly contaminated area. And this is where a lot of diseases get shared, is through contact. So, wash. Lavas sus manos. All right. Talk to you guys later. See you next week. Stay cool. Stay safe. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Talk to you later.